The Catholic Church has always understood as a sacrament which accomplishes several things, first of which is the remission of sin, both original and actual sin. Only original sin in the case of infants and young children, since they are inca incapable of actual sin. Both original and actual sin in the case of older people. Um, so uh, we have uh, um, the purifying and the um, uh, original sin that we were born with, uh, wiped away with, with baptism, and then uh, reconciliation um, if we are being baptized as, as an adult where we uh, are, are sorry for the sins that we have committed. In Luke's gospel, we, we read that now there were, were even bringing infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus said to them, let the children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. This was in Luke uh, chapter 18, verses 15 and 16, uh, talking about um, a faith in Jesus, belief in God, and uh, the promises that, that we make. In the Catholic Church today, baptism is mostly in, administered to infants. While some other Christians stre strenuously object to infant baptism, believing that baptism requires assent on the part of the person being baptized, Eastern, Eastern Orthodox, Anglicans, Luthers, and other mainline Protestants also practice infant baptism. And there is evidence that it was practiced from the earliest days of the church. It's kind of common sense, really, because of original sin. We want to uh, get rid of that as, as soon as possible. Um, then I just made a note, since baptism removes both the guilt and the punishment due to original sin, delaying baptism until a child can understand the sacrament may put the child's salvation in danger uh, in case they died like unbaptized. <clears throat> 